Hey guys, oh my god, I'm Comet. Hi, I made this song. Mina san, konnichiwa. Don't worry, I won't be doing that voice for the whole video. How are you all doing? I just released a song called Comet is Setting Things on Fire. And in this video, I'll be walking through how the song was made. I'm still experimenting with how best to structure these, so we're gonna try something different for this one. Instead of splitting between music theory, instruments, etc., I'm gonna walk through each part of the song from start to finish. Will it be better? I, I don't know. <laughs> we start off with this solo pizzicato from Halion Symphonic Orchestra. It's playing eighth note arpeggios in... Uh, wait, <laughs> hold on, what key is this in? Okay, okay, okay. At first I thought it was like some B-flat mixolydian thing, um, but it's just, it's better understood as C minor. We do get some fun clusters in here though, like look at this. Mmm. After that we come in with these staccato violins that really warm up the space. The MIDI is the same, um, but I realize some of the notes actually aren't even being played, like they're in this gray area. But it works, apparently. That's also where we get these first xylophone hits, right here. Now for Comet's vocals, which I will not play, so we're not talking over each other. The main things I've got here are an auto-tune, a compressor, and some glitchy stuff that comes in here and there. Actually, this is a great chance to see what I tuned her in. Wait, is he major? Um, okay. I mean, if it, if it works, I get because Comet's like excitable and positive compared to the C minor behind it. I, I totally planned that. Starting in this section, the arpeggios are kicked up an octave and just generally quicker. You can hear they're in sixteenths now. In this part also, there is an electric piano added in. I add in a super simple drum beat. It's basically just a kick and a snare. But the big addition in this part besides the vocals is this 909 bass. It definitely confirms that we're in C minor. The second part of Comet's verse section brings in Peace Piano. This is one of my favorite presets to work with. In this song, we've got this kind of starry, filtered chaos thing going on with it. I'm pretty sure I just recorded myself playing random notes and then took out any that were off key. After her verse is what I guess you can consider the chorus, with two layers of my vocals singing the main line. You can hear the drum beat gets a little bit more flavor to it here. And for some vibes, I added a glitchy choir pad behind my vocals. There's this like, super jazzy vibraphone line that I love. Where is it? Hold on. Ah, where are you? Oh, you're right here. Ah, that's so nice. Transitioning into the main hook, I suppose, is what I've called a band-aid riser for some reason. It's a reversed impact sample from Splice with a combination of bit crushing and distortion to make this effect. The hook itself has two halves. The main player in the first half is this synth with a slow attack, and it mirrored the violins quite nicely. I did feel though that it needed a bit more, like, kind of click to it though, to make up for that slow attack, uh, so I added another synth on top of it as well as a xylophone uh, to kind of give it that punchiness while still preserving it. Behind that is whatever this is and a sitar playing the main arpeggio line. Then the second half of the hook, the sitar takes the spotlight and goes a, l a little crazy. You know, just, just a little crazy. We bring back the staccato strings behind this uh, to really give it more body to the sound. After that, the song kind of repeats for the most part. There's no new elements added Yo, except- Yo, wait, no, you forgot wait, about no the- problem. 